Hello friends and welcome back to another fake bake video. My name is Maria and welcome to my channel. Today I would like to share with you a different type of fake baking. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this video. So here is this little guy that I am going to be using in my fake bake. I could not pass him up, fell in love with his cuteness, so I want to do something with him. The flower I was not too crazy about, so that I will be taking off. Now when I got home, I realized that the inside has some sort of hard cement type of, I don't know what it is, uh, but I it really didn't matter to me because I don't really care for it. Again, you know, I'm going to be using, I'm going to actually be covering it up, so it's kind of not going to be in my way so anyway so this plastic little thing i had to use a uh, wire cutters to pull out so if you're wondering why i'm using this well because he's actually an inspiration um, i am decorating my kitchen for easter and i felt like there was something missing when i saw him i just had to use him so the first thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be conditioning these two clays together. I want to get a uh, dough color, a raw dough color, if that makes any sense. Um, so again, I'm just going to condition them very well and make sure that there's no cracking in the clay or any sorts of uh, lines or dents or what have you. Because I'm actually going to be making a donut. So I don't think I ever done a donut. Well, actually, yeah, you know what? Yes, I have done a donut where I have shared with you guys. So this pretty much is going to be that. You know, you can see there all the lines. I'm just going to use the palm of my hands and just try to roll them all out. So this next step is optional. I am going to be using a clear block stamp, and that's just to make sure that my donut is not too puffy from the top because I'm going to be adding something else on top of that. So once I have my donut the size that I want and I'm talking about the width, I am just going to be rolling it back and forth making sure that any lines or dents in it uh, will disappear and just by doing this, rolling it back and forth will help me achieve that. So once I have my donut the size that I want, I am going to make sure that it fits well on top of my little uh, rabbit making sure that it's not too small also because then you will be able to see the inside of the flower so here it is uh, he it, it is looking perfect the size that i'm looking for so i'm just going to put them to the side i'm not going to glue them just yet so now i'm going to be mixing these two colors in, and i want to make sure that both of them are well conditioned and by knowing that they're well conditioned First, you need to listen to make sure that there's no crackling or popping any sorts of bubbles or whatever. And also when you stretch it out, that it stretches out like, I guess, cheese, melted cheese, if <laughs> that makes any sense. Anyways, all right. So now with my knife, I'm all I'm going to do is a zigzag pattern. And then I am going to place it around my donut. I don't care if the top of the donut is covered because really I am going to be focusing only on the side of the donut since that is the part that's going to be showing i did realize that my curves were a little bit too long but i'm fine with that because i'm going to go in with my scissors and i'm just going to trim around uh, the parts that i think that are a little bit too long so now i'm going to add the icing all the way around and then i am going to go in with a molding tool and just um, try to make sure that to clean up around the edges and uh, and then that should be done with my donut. Okay, so now I have a question for all of you. Have you ever done anything like this? Use something other than a cup, a bowl, or a plate uh, to do a fake bake. If you have, please, I would love to hear uh, from you leave me a comment down below and um, just want to make sure that i'm not the only one out there <laughs> which i'm sure i probably am not but i would really love to hear that because i really love how this came out i think this is a great idea why not just use something else other than um, plates and cups and bowls you know for fake bakes Now that I trim and smooth out the 
icing I am going to remove the donut off of the rabbit because I'm not going to glue it just as of yet I do not want to take any chances that it will fall and put dents or marks in it so I am going to be adding some fine light pink glitter and if you know me I am going to go crazy with my glitter because the clay is still soft it's going to uh, grab the glitter meaning that the glitter will stay on there without me having to add any Mod Podge you can do this if you choose to uh, or you can just add the Mod Podge then add your glitter and then seal it again with the Mod Podge that is totally up to you I choose not to uh, so that's what I, the way I'm gonna leave it all right so now I'm going to be making the soft ice cream and again I'm going to be making sure that my clay is well conditioned and that's just making sure that I don't hear or see any bubbles so easy to make the soft ice cream is just by rolling out the clay to the length that you want now for this I did have to stand up uh, when I place the when I'm going to be placing my ice cream on top of my donut because keep in mind that whenever you connect two different clays or two different colors of clay uh, once they're placed once they connect if you make any type of error keep in mind that when you try to pull your clay it's going you're taking a chance that it's going to tear and it's just going to rip your clay it's going to make a mess and you're just going to have to start all over again so whenever you do this please uh, make sure that you are going to position it exactly where you want it to be all right so now that i finish my ice cream i am going to add also some white fine glitter So before adding the white glitter, I am going to remove the donut. I do not want to take any chances that it's going to fall and make some dents or marks in it. Once I am done adding all the glitter, then I am going to go in and add some sprinkles that I got from Play Code 3 and I'm also going to be adding my discounted code. So because I did not want it to overpower the donut, uh, by adding so many sprinkles at one time, I chose to add one at a time and I use craft glue to glue them on there. If you want to add yours a lot, like a lot, add a lot of sprinkles to your donut, then I advise you to go in there, add some Mod Podge and then add your sprinkles and then seal it in with uh, the Mod Podge again. I chose just to add a little now this is time consuming but I didn't care it is well worth it again I did not want to take away uh, the cuteness from the uh, rabbit by over powering my donut if that makes any sense all right so this is how it looks like all I'm going to do now is just let it dry until it's completely dry then I'm gonna glue it on onto my rabbit and then I am going to go and put him in my kitchen if you guys have not gone over to my Facebook or group page, uh, go ahead and do so, sign up, so you can see the video that I uploaded over there, displaying him in my kitchen and how I decorated my kitchen for Easter. Again, he was an inspiration, so go and check him out. I'm still gonna give you a closer look so you can see how he looks from a little distance, and here he is. This is how he turned out. Really love how he came out. It's simple, um, which is nothing wrong. Sometimes less is best. Uh, and again, guys, thank you so much for stopping by. This is the end of the video. And until the next time, my friends, stay safe. Be kind. Bye.